update on fragile masculinity. I was in Chicago for a work trip and I was in an Airbnb and in the bathroom there were wipes that had the name of the product written on the package in huge letters, DUDE WIPES. <laughs> I read it and my immediate thought was, dude is gender neutral, I can still use these, right? <laughs> My non-binarity is really fragile. I just made up the word non-binarity. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hey, non-binaries in the house? Anybody? <laughs> Fuck yeah, me and the two other people who said woo. I think it's wild that we have terms like AFAB and AMAB, assigned female or male at birth. Because what we know is actually happening is some doctor incidentally didn't make a mistake and named you sis or a doctor made a mistake and named you trans. And I just can't stop thinking about what that moment would be like if babies could speak. Like I'm just imagining when I was born, it's like, congratulations, it's a boy. And I would have been like, doc, I don't think you know me like that. It's my baby voice. <laughs>